We're picking up some pipes today. I was told a 53 foot step. Take any 53 foot step deck tandem. This is my favorite one that I could find. It's actually it's the first one I could find, so it's my favorite. 115D, it's gonna be our partner for this morning. And if we have time, we're gonna go back and do a second one later this afternoon. These loads are in Carmen, Manitoba. Uh, hour, two hours west of here. Hmm. I think there's an air leak. Oh, we'll just close that up. Nothing a little spit shine won't fix. Let's first take a look, see if there's any obvious reason. Oh, well, it's not the the best o-ring in there but it's it should still seal it just doesn't have that cover on there and that still looks good okay well before i do the spit method let's uh just see if i can align it a little better maybe okay let's try that again all right charge it with air yeah, you see? No spit required. If you're having problems with it sealing still, and you've eliminated all other reasons of why the O-rings aren't sealing, if you put a little bit of spit on the O-ring, just moisten it up a little bit, it usually works. Don't ask me why. Magic, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, solved that problem. Landing gear's up. Kingpin is locked in. Marker lights are all working. Signal should be working. Tires are filled with air, I bet you. Yes. Yes. Good, and it's going to be a hot day. Some good quality summer air in there. Don't forget to go to your local tire shop and tell them to put summer air in your tires in the summertime. Oh, what's this here? Well, that's, that's running kind of close to the tire here, eh? Well, it's not touching, but what's going on here? Heh! <laughs> Mud flaps on the back. Lights working, license plate light working. Anything else Mr. DOT is going to give me trouble over? See, this one has a mud flap on that one. That one obviously got ripped off. I'm guessing someone must have backed it against a curb at a truck stop. But since that one's ripped off, it's okay because we still have one back there. It's just going to look a little funny because, you know, there's two on this side. And one on this side but I am going to bring that up with the shop so that they can take a look at that it'll serve its purpose for today though I'm just going to Carmen and back signals are working marker lights are look at that everything's working Everything's working. That bowl of fire is back. It won't leave us alone. Always up there burning things up. Crank the AC up. The trailer's not going to fall off. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of that uh, mud flap there. That one that ripped off. And go show it to the shop right now before I leave. So that uh, when I get back they can place that before it goes out on the highway. Just get it out of the way. Stop. 
obviously Timmy's. I mean, I'm not crazy. We're here in Oak Bluff, west of Winnipeg. Stop in for a quick Tim's, just a quick Tim's. And then we're gonna head down this road in front of us and make our way towards Carmen. There it is. Doesn't look like a Timmy's, but there's a Timmy's in there, don't be fooled. I'm gonna find my way around to the back. Park in that parking spot. in here today. I don't know why people always park over here. I don't think they realize that that's kind of the area for the trucks to go. Whatever. It works. Look at this nice little day cab. I wish I could have a nice day cab like that. Nice and shiny. A lot of people ask me uh, almost every day if I miss long haul trucking or over the road trucking as it's called in the US I'll always miss it there's always a part of me that just wants the open road I love it but I love what I'm doing now too I mean I'm still trucking I get to haul a whole bunch of different kinds of loads all kinds of different freight and I gotta go home at the end of the day and I get my weekends to spend at home and here it comes. You were wondering if I was going to mention the motorcycle. <clears throat> here it comes. I'm not going to disappoint you. I can get a lot more riding in being home more often. I can have the weekends off. And I'm really excited to take this uh, this challenge. What was it called again? Cannonball Rides? I want to get all the Manitoba ones done this summer. Well, let's see if I can. There's one longer one that's going to take two days. So I'll have to stay at a motel somewhere along the way. And it takes me up north and back around by the paw. I want to see if I can do it. If I can't do the long one this year, okay, I get it. But uh, I should be able to do the rest of them. There's a couple of half day ones and uh, a couple of full day rides. And each time I complete one of these rides and send in proof to, uh, I guess, the headquarters of this, this site, this organization, uh, you get sent a certificate of completion that you completed that route and you get entered to win prizes uh different motorcycle gear and there's even a motorcycle giveaway it's a little uh 2020 honda cb 300r i think so it's a small bike it's sort of like the bike i just sold but smaller it's a small bike but hey if you win it it's a free bike you can't argue with that so in order to win the bike and be entered in to win the bike you got to complete these rides on uh, i think it's called cannonballrides.ca it's a canadian riding organization so if you're a canadian and you have a motorcycle and you like motorcycling check it out after this video go to cannonballrides.ca uh, i don't know the owners of the site and they didn't ask me to call it out but you know the more people that use it the the more people that enter to ride you know the more fun it is you know and we'll see maybe we can organize to do a few rides together in the future Shout out to my sister Rose. Uh, her coworker completed one of these rides last weekend, I think. And uh, I guess told my sister about it at work. And my sister thought that I would really like it. And she was right. She knows me well. She told me about it. And now I'm all excited about it too. So now I'm telling you guys about it. Maybe you'll get excited about it too. I don't know. I think it's. I think it'll be fun. And it gets. it's an excuse to get out there on the bike. Welcome to Carmen, Manitoba. that time of year again. It's a little historical little town, a little prairie town. Uh, I don't know if you saw it on the left, there's a little uh, a war memorial, some artillery sitting there. It's located on the Boyne River, we just went over it there. Here on this side of town. Carmen's not that big. Here's another military 
truck there on the left? bands hold it all together and we have one strap on that way and that way to stop it from rolling and we suck them all together so I'm gonna do this back one next and you see there's a little gap in here yet we're gonna tighten this right here and pull that together got all kinds of different kinds of pipe here no idea what it's going to be used for, but uh, doesn't really matter. It's going to be hauled by me. So I got this cardboard in here to make sure that my step here doesn't damage it. So I'm going to suck this in first. Oops, I guess I got to connect it on the other side first. <laughs> suck that against here so that this cardboard is pinned in there. And then it'll be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two on straps. Then we'll roll out, bring it back to the yard, and we'll come back for another one. And that's the other side of it there. This is the side. My hook unhooked itself. That's not very hook-like of it. Put that in there. See, it goes into that little slot in there. Right in there, see? And then I just jam it on there like that. Okay, and that'll hold it up against there. This is gonna come down over here. That'll hold that in place. It's very light, very light. Probably won't even feel the weight on the trailer. I'll just feel the wind resistance a little bit because it's gonna catch a little bit of wind, but not too bad. Okay, so let's, let's push the first one against the step. Then we'll push this one against that, that one against that, and then the last one in against there. I just have this tied in here right now, just so that if some random gust of wind that I'm not expecting comes through here, it's not gonna push that off the back and roll it. You could always put a chalk at the back so it doesn't roll off, or I'll just put a strap, that way I don't have to worry about this one back here while I work on these three first. Working with brand new straps today because the highway guys never bring back the straps that I leave on the trailers for them. They just keep them. And that's exactly why I always take my equipment back. But on freight like this, I can't just leave this loose on the trailer in the yard for the highway driver, right? I've got to leave the, the equipment on it, or at least some of it so that it doesn't fall off. The highway driver is supposed to return the same amount of straps to the, to the shop before leaving the yard, I think. 
So the yard is running really low on straps right now. And I'm pretty sure there's a few drivers are running around with about 40 straps on their truck. Because <laughs> they don't stay with the trailer on these ones. They stay with the truck usually. So when, when they pick up a load on a trailer like this that's strapped down by me, that means that that came out of my supply of straps and I'm leaving it on there for them. So they hook onto the trailer. Let's say there'd be two, four, six, eight straps on here. So before leaving the yard, they'd take eight of their own straps, company supplied, and leave them with the yard guy, Bill, before leaving on the trip or leave them somewhere in the yard where Bill will find them so that he can replace them in the stash. Otherwise we'd run into problems like this morning. Uh, I was completely out of straps because no one's returning them. And I almost, like eventually they're gonna run out and these are you know expensive. So just a friendly reminder, if you do hook onto a load that's already strapped down for you, you're welcome. I know it's very convenient. That way you don't have to strap it down. I, I like that too. Believe me, I like that. Just don't forget to leave me uh, some replacement straps so that I don't run out. It's 12.30, I'll be back at the yard around before one. Well, it might be time for a second load today, yeah? I passed about three of our trucks on the way back here now, headed that way. So maybe they found other drivers to go pick up the next load. Or maybe we just have that many coming out of there today, I don't know. No idea, he just said that there might be a second one. So let's hurry back. There was time for a second trip. <laughs> Turned it into quite a long day, but uh, we're finally done. I didn't film the second load, I just went and got her done. It, it took quite a while, I left here at 1.30 and it was one of those uh, fancy loads that uh, takes some creative strapping. That's all we'll say. <laughs> Let's go home. I wanna go home. It's been a long day. Did I say that already? Still parking at the front in the yard here because uh, they're uh, repaving, well not repaving, but uh, they're spreading gravel down on uh, our parking lot there still in the back. And they're probably going to uh, work on it for the rest of the week a little bit and let it pack. So I'll just uh, hold off a little bit. Probably for the rest of the week I'll park up here. Look at this. Only the night staff here for the shop. Everybody else has gone home already. <laughs> one of the first ones here. I wasn't the first one here, but one of the first ones here and the last one to leave. How about that? Not complaining. I appreciate the hours. I don't mind working the hours. As long as I have my weekend, I'm, I don't mind working during the week. I mean, it's either that or I go home and I sit around at home, but you know, sometimes it's nice just to sit around at home for the evening, you know, watch TV, get some stuff done. But we gotta work, you know? This world's gone crazy and I'm very thankful to be in an industry and a business that uh, is thriving through it all. That's sort of how it is, eh? With all of this mess, there's, you're either thriving or you're being uh, shut down, put out of business. It's crazy. Well, Britt's already done her day of work, so she's home already. I left home before her, <laughs> getting home after her. As soon as I can get on the highway here. Kick her into Chevy gear, there you go. Use all of those eight beautiful cylinders. Wonderful. I don't like stepping on it that much. I like saving my fuel. I should rephrase that. I love stepping on it and I love the sound of my engine. I just like to save fuel. Well, it's the very next morning and I realized that uh, I didn't even uh, say hi to you guys when I got home yesterday. It was pretty much eat, shower, bed. I was pretty tired. And I'm um, here at work the next day. So I don't want to give away too much, but I'll give you a little sneak preview of what's to come in tomorrow's vlog. There you go. You're welcome. So tune in tomorrow to see the rest. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.